The National Hurricane Center will be launching a new hurricane cone. This new experimental cone will run together with the traditional cone that's been used each season and will include tropical storm and hurricane watches and warnings for the counties in the hurricane's path, so they are in a single graphic. This will allow residents to understand the hazards and potential wind impact of a hurricane that could spread dozens of miles in all directions. Adding this information will also help draw attention to the full scope of a hurricane and its hazardous conditions rather than focusing solely on the center line of the cone. The cone is actually an average of errors and a best guess of where the center of a hurricane may land. The size of the cone is not an indication of how strong a storm will become. Despite being called the cone of uncertainty, hurricane tracking has become extremely accurate. However, the further out the storm, the less accurate it will be because many factors must be considered. And so this, the cone only displays information about track uncertainty. Uh, we don't illustrate anything about specific impacts, whether it be surge, rainfall, tornadoes, for example. The National Hurricane Center has classes, workshops, presentations, and resources available on its website at www.nhc.noaa.gov outreach for anyone interested in learning more. The City of Pembroke Pines, Pembroke Pines Prepared section on its website at www.ppines.com hurricane is also filled with important information. Residents are encouraged to learn how to be prepared and to understand warnings and hurricane information before a storm approaches.